Do 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 Excited, excited, excited! Back down here again, twice in a week. When I come down here, I love this 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 Christian holiday. Um, I'm not a Christian. Don't take part in Christianity. Although I have acts of Christianity. Anyway, it's all confusing. Uh, but today is Tuesday. Tomorrow's Wednesday, and tomorrow I plan to come down here um, for you Earth people. It's Boxing Day tomorrow. Um, but to me, um, tomorrow was supposed to be Yule Bridge Building Day. Um, I just thought it'd be great to build a bridge over the Yule holidays, um, worship the sun and all that. Um, I managed to get that day off from this Christian holiday because uh, Christ is massive and all that. I've got some timber there. <laughs> some timber there. Some concrete blocks and my boots, which I need to get on Esplanto. Um, so yeah, uh, was it was it uh, Chris, Christmas Day today? I think, apparently. I don't know. It's one of those Christmas holiday things that those people celebrate. But uh, I shouldn't be walking. <laughs> well, these are my old work trainers anyway. Um, no white Nikes today. Right, put the tent up. I don't know when that was. Sunday? Oh, it's Sunday. I took Saturday night off work. Come down. Flew the drone Sunday. Got some footage, which was crap, because I didn't fly high enough, because every time I went more than eight foot, the wind took it. Oh, I had a feeling I was going to get a puddle there. Um, Because, obviously, I'm on an angle. I'm on a bit of a slope. Hey! No one in here? That's cool. No bears. Um, yeah, I should have put the tent the other way, but I thought I'd still get this puddle, even if I pitched it the other way. So, uh <laughs> that's how waterproof the tent is for people to say oh canvas tents you got to treat them this has never been treated and it's like a paddling pool uh, so yeah I'll have a coffee out of that later not really um, yeah bridge is going down here I'll quickly show you I haven't really fully chose where I want it to go I, I, ideally I wanted two bridges here but I need one oh come over again yay oh yay to being tall even when you're in a group, tall people always get the cobwebs first. Um, so streams down there somewhere. <laughs> Look at this, it's my own forest. Um, be perfect to get the bridge in the middle. Well, I've got that snap tree down there. But uh, I keep crossing down here. And I still haven't... The plan was before I'd done any building work was to measure out exactly where my plot is. So my plot ends there. Ish. And I think I normally jump about there-ish. Because um, it's it's clear-ish to walk down. I keep using the word ish because there are no plans and... Uh, cobwebs. Yeah, the cobwebs are the only definite thing down here. Ugh. Yeah, I jump here because this is the narrow part. Oh my god, look how clear that is today. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh. And that's about a metre jump. And it's fast flowing up. There's like a little waterfall up there. I'm not going up to there. I'm not doing a wander around. I keep coming down here and not doing anything. But down there, it gets uh, quite a bit wider. Um, so I might might just plonk the old bridge here. Uh, although I want easy access to over there. But I've got no access down here to there. That's my dilemma. So, uh, climbing back up. Up the slope. The slope of death. Ugh. It's like one of those things on telly with all the pads and the metal frames and the water thing that they have to run and jump across. I've seen bits of that. Um, but like when I've passed the TV or seen clips of it on on the internet, because I'm a tinternetter, not a TV goer. Uh, it's like yeah, it's like those obstacle courses. See, uh, down there is perfect for the bridge, but I fucking can't get to it. Um. Need to clear all this away. So I'll get the bridge bang in the middle ish there, there is. And uh, then the cabin can go there. Pff, all five stories of it. Um but again the bridge I'm putting down here can be there it is, hello. Uh, the, the bridge can always be picked up and moved later. 
it's going to be quite heavy. <laughs> it's going to be a substantial bridge. Um, but it can be moved because I'm actually going to build it up the top on the level and then drag it down here by hand. As I said before, I can get the car down here. Hence, I bought. I love my Daihatsu because I can fit through gaps like that. Shit, it's the fan. I need to get into a tight space. It will get me through the tight space. Um, I'll see where bigger vehicles won't go. Uh, the trailer is the same width, so the trailer will go where I'll go. But if I do drive down here in a hurry for an emergency one day, there's no way I'm driving back out. I will need a Land Rover to pull me out, but then the Land Rover won't fit through here. Um, this is actually a tiny gap. My car will just go through, snapping off a few twigs. So badly come close a few times, even last week. I was like, fuck it, so I just go buy a Land Rover. <laughs> I just know I've got no use for it, they're just cool. So, that's it. That's my rant and rabbit on. I've got the drone, two batteries half charged, cleared memory card. I actually bought the memory card this time, it's even in the drone. So, I might have a bash for that later because the sun is out, it's going down, but it's out. It is two o'clock, 1400 hours. These are going to be my hand rails. Um, they're rounded, treated. Um, these are going to be three of these. These will be uprights for the bridge, like train tracks. And the one's going to be used to make box sections throughout. And then obviously, there are the planks in there. I don't even know how wide I want it yet. All I know is I've got my saw, I've got two boxes of brass screws, I've got a box to screw. I don't even know where they are, so I'm a shit in my car. Um, these are like an inch thick. So I've got some inch and a half, two inch, two inch screws for that. And to screw all this stuff together, the actual walkway, so the main supports itself. I've got some gnarly, like five, six inch freaking screws. And my drill, so I'm going to pre-drill out all this stuff first. And then, uh, then screw it together. Um, and the side of the go box, which is probably flat. With that, uh, I'm a cyborg, my eye. Um, yeah, solar go box is probably running a bit low because I probably broke my solar panel. <laughs> but that's why I have it up there in this roof rack because people say, well, now I can't use it as a roof rack, and I can because the solar panel fits under this, um, under this, so I can still put stuff on it, across it, or over it. And uh, as you see, the solar panels in there held on by bungees, not the usual cable size. Uh, the light doesn't get in the way, you just turn it and make space on the roof. I love the roof rack configuration. It does work perfectly. I recommend getting a luggage rack. If I had a roof rack on there, oh, I'd only be able to carry planks, but with the uh, that's bolted to the accessory section. This is It's got an accessory rail. This has got um, holes there so I can fit it different whips apart from this. These come off, these slide out so I can put accessories in here. Um, so that's bolted to that, which is bolted to that, so that's not coming off. The only problem is I can't find a permanent roof rack, I have to get a universal one. I don't actually do a permanent one. You can buy these with roof rails, you just... Anyway, I'm talking pure shite. I need to get on and build a bridge. All the excitement over. Pulled up all these plans in my head, went on a bit of a turbo fast forward mode. Um, yeah, they're 10 foot long. <laughs> so that's pretty much nearly the width. Um, between the boards, it's going to be 2 foot wide. And the handrails are going to be screwed on the outer side. Um, so I've got one of these left over. I'm going to cut this into five 2 foot sections. And they're going to be used as cross members. I'll have one in the middle, two, three four or five. I don't think I'm going to go right to the end. Undecided. So five cross... So I'll have box sections, basically. Now uh, we've staggered one, two, three screws in there on each side. And that'll stop it from twisting um, and shifting that way. So if you walk on it, it's not going to fall over and collapse. Um, when the box sections are on, um, that'll strengthen up immensely. And then the planks can go on but i think i want the planks to overlap about three inches and then well i've got the uprights for the handrails again i still might just put a handrail on one side but a handrail on both sides will be handy for carrying big items um, you could literally carry them and put them down so it's gonna be 
two foot wide, then two inches, and then the handrail. So the handrails are going to be like two inch, two feet, two feet, four inches apart. No measurements. Uh, that's 12 inches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. That's ten foot. So I'm going to measure one of these, two of my boots, cut it, and hopefully get five of them. If that makes sense. All right, first one's done. Turns out the length of the saw is about two foot long. Again, I'm just saying two foot loosely because that's just about the width I want. So it doesn't have to be two foot. It's just about that width. Um, maybe I should, I should have gone up to a meter, but that'll put this bridge project up to about 230 quid. I've always spent 150, so it just needs to be wide enough to walk across. Um, so yeah, use that to get the length, the two feet that I wanted. And then obviously 90 degree angle on there. Marked it with that, cut it. Again, tape measures uh, are generally an inch and a half by three inches. I know that's an inch and a half. Um, yeah, it gets to measure things, find out the measurements of stuff, then you can use them. So now I know that these are two foot long. If I had a tape measure, I'd measure it, but I reckon three inches, six, another six. Yeah, I reckon that's about two foot long. <laughs> See if we get five out of this. <laughs> I'm gonna. Now use this to mark up, so they're all the same length as the first one, and uh, we'll see, let's see how we get on. was we've got the chainsaw on the back and it's large timber I did plan on marking it all up and just zipping through with a chainsaw but I wanted a nice clean cut and level which I probably wouldn't get with a chainsaw right well we're getting it got it roughly marked up sat there loosely on the ground um, yeah I did mess up the cutting of the box sections as you see I've only got four that fit and um, the fifth one in the middle go in uh, parallel with the two sides that uh, was a bit too short because I didn't measure it so I'm going to use that as a double box section there if I talk here the sound won't get mixed up but if I uh, use that as a double box section more supporting around the middle which is probably where I'm going to spend most time standing drinking coffee so that hasn't really made any difference to the build itself and originally I did want these bits sticking out exposed so you can see they were sitting on the concrete blocks I have like a foot on each end before the first box section. Um, and then, the, as I said, the handrails can screw into here. I wanted to literally screw them into there and have a, a half handrail. I didn't want a full length handrail. I'm not sure yet. Again, no plans. I just roughly worked out how I wanted to do this. I wanted it box sections on concrete blocks. So that's still got the plan, but plans change. Adapting as I go along. Again, I'm not measuring anything. I'm just knocking up a bridge over a stream. Right, ratchet strap time. Magic marker. That's the 
lamps there. middle of that one. So now when they're screwed on they just line three up. Just like that. And now that middle box section is in the centre of the two uh, main supports. The middle of these two is now totally square in the middle. Well, not totally square. Uh, that bit there probably could come left a little bit but <laughs> not bothered about like an inch or two here and there uh, again if something's out three inches it really doesn't matter on this sort of build uh, the ground's going to be uneven the, the timber's going to twist and warp as it dries and through the season anyway and as I start screwing it in it's going to start pulling it and twisting it anyway again it's not machine cut this is um well uh, I had a good saw but that ended up in someone else's shed I've just got a cheap 499 wick saw Mind you, I probably would have been better off using a chainsaw. Right, so side of go box obviously hasn't been plugged in for a few days. I don't know why. Um, I think it's coming down here, dropping stuff off, going to a little bit. I moved the side of box, didn't plug in the panel. Uh, so now I've got it running as a generator. The car is now the petrol engine um, that produces electricity to charge the batteries, just like a normal generator. No point buying a generator, build yourself a solar go box, it works in the sun and instead of buying a generator to run when you've got no sun, just start your car. So it's buying a generator. Emphasise the sticker there. So yeah, that's um, on charge, plus we're using the inverter. Again, that's a 12 volt, 6 volt battery box. Um, running the inverter on that, again about 20 minutes or so. <laughs> Especially with a, a corded drill. So uh, I would recommend, well I would normally um, have the car running with that anyway like when i used to use that down that 350 watt inverter down the allotment with the electric strimmer um i'd only get about 40 odd minutes out of it before it went flat and i'd have to plug it into the car but when in the summer when the panel's on that i can run the strim all day long right slowly getting there Right. When I had it all marked up, I drilled through the first board and that slightly marked this board. So now I've just weathered slight holes while I've drilled through both of them. So now I can put the first cross member in. What happens when we use a battery box that's not charged? The 
draw doesn't work. Nearly made it through one half. If I use the drill on low, it's alright, because I think it's a 600 watt drill on a 350 watt inverter. I'm just going to do it by hand. And, uh, not to over tighten them, I just want them to sink in just slightly so they're not sticking out. Uh, again, I still got to put handrails on yet. Off score tools work, who needs a drill? That's just a luxury. Right, get in there, oops, uh, it's just need to screw that, two screws in there, I've got three in there, three in there, three in there, so I'll put two holes, two screws, flip it over, do three holes on this bit of wood, and then three in that screws going in, and that's the middle bit done, that'll be the, uh, obviously the main bit where I don't want to flex and bend, or if I'm hanging around on the bridge, I know where else better to chill out than on your own bridge, playing poo sticks. Three more on the top to go in there, and that's it done. People have asked me why I've not used the timber that I've got here. As you can see, there's a big pile of wood there, a big there, lot there. Um, it all needs lifted up, 
dried out. I need to get some wood storage to get all the wood dry. Um, I'm going to get two planks out of that one. Um, I'm not cutting that down, I can't cut that one down. But nothing grows straight and I can buy the attachment to my chainsaw. I can dry it off for months and years. This is quick and easy. It was 150 quid. It'll take me a few hours to build. But if I work the wood that's here, um, I need to get the bridge built first so I can get the tent across. Um, and then I can start working on the wood storage and so on and getting it all dried out and working the wood. But at the moment, bought it for quick and easy. It's so much fun using a drill on low power, <laughs> but if I put it on high, it just cuts out. Right, dramatically running out of daylight, but we've got the last ones to do. All pre-drilled now. I want it really, the drill's just starting to work. Yay, all done. Right, I'm letting the video now because by the time I've packed away it will be totally dark. Um, but yeah, so there's a uh, Wow Sly, aka M6 CTP, and all the rest.
getting the, uh, the bug out prepper retreat weekend retreat camp sorted um obviously it's a bug out location but it's a prepper retreat or just a weekend retreat and uh something i can come for radio uh might order the hf radio antenna tonight for the asu or oh, 104 foot long wire up down here into the back of the asu <laughs> because if i've got myself a little um shack little cabin that'd be an ideal place for some qso's and dx in front of the uh the log burner on the other side of the bridge <laughs> Right, I'll sign off now, 73s, cheers and beers, and uh, I'll be back down here tomorrow to finish off this bad boy, but of course this is the, the, the longer part of the build. Again, I didn't come down until 2 o'clock, it took me two hours to do this, oh, probably an hour, that was walking around waiting for that to charge up. Um, but yeah, getting that plank tomorrow isn't going to take any time at all. I'll get it planked up, whack the handrails on, all of the handrails, I'm going to cut them in half, I've got four of them, two of them are going to go cutting off. And that'll give me my uprights and then the two that are uncut are just going to go straight across the top <laughs> simple, simple and the, the hellish screws that i've got are going to go straight in um job done right Ruff. oh yeah gotta remember to use my slogan making stuff breaking stuff and generally not knowing what i'm doing It's my fall off because I'm watching the phone. Stand in the middle, bouncing, solid, no give on this at all. Yeah. Rock on. Tommy, rock on.